Let's talk about the binomial coefficient. Where we started was we wanted to find a way to calculate the binomial coefficients from Pascal's triangle without actually having to create Pascal's triangle every single time. So uh, to generate binomial coefficients and you know other things that will be important later down the road, we can use uh, this formula. Uh, and we call this n choose r, or you might see this symbol over here, c with the r on top and r, uh, n on the top and r on the bottom, or you might see n over r, almost written like a vector but not a vector. We say we call this n choose r, and it's given by this equation: n factorial over r factorial minus n minus r factorial. And we say where n is equal to the degree of the expansion, and r is the term number minus one. So what do I mean by that? If I wanted to expand a plus b to the fifth power, and I wanted to know what the uh, fourth term is, then n would be equal to 5, since that's the degree of the expansion, and r would be equal to 4 minus 1, which is equal to 3. So we'll use this equation to help us generate those binomial coefficients, rather than go to the Pascal's triangle every time. So let's use that formula. Let's just practice some basic examples here. Let's use the formula for n choose r as given to evaluate 5 choose 2. And the reason why we say 5 choose 2 is we kind of want to think about if I have 5 things and I want to choose 2 of them, this is kind of like the number of ways that you can do this. So this means that n equals 5 and r equals 2. So let's just plug it into the formula here. So this is going to be given as 5 factorial over 2 factorial times 5 minus 2 factorial which is going to equal 5 times 4 times 3 times 2, oop, that's a plus, times 2 times 1 over 2 times 1 times, and then 5 minus 2 factorial is 3 factorial, so it's 3 times 2 times 1. And now we just simplify things. So we'll simplify the 1s, the 2s, and the 3s. That's pretty convenient. Uh, and then I can simplify, uh, take a 2 out of the denominator and a 2 out of the numerator, and this just becomes 5 times 2 over 1 times 1, so that's equal to 10. So the number of ways that you can choose two things out of 5 is 10, and you can uh, verify this with Pascal's triangle, and I'll talk about that in just a second. So why don't you try this example next. Pause the video. I want to use the formula to evaluate 11 choose 7, or another way of thinking of this is if I have 11 things, how many different ways can I choose seven of them? So pause the video, give this one a shot. All right, and here's my workings out for this one. What I didn't write is all the ways that you can reduce or cancel out your factorials. So I basically just kind of go down the line and I look for, for pairs. So five comes out here, five comes out here, six, six, seven, seven, and then I start taking four times two, which is eight, and then a three, that comes out and that becomes a three. So multiplying 11 times 10 times three gives me that 330. One thing that's, that's kind of nice about these is that these will always equal integer values. Uh, and you, that should make sense. If this kind of corresponds to Pascal's triangles, you're always going to get uh, integers or whole numbers out of these, um, out of these numbers. Well, let's actually use the calculator to verify. Now we actually have a way to type these, these values in, these 4 choose 0, 4 choose 1, 4 choose 2. So I want to show you how you can use the calculator to generate these binomial coefficients. So let me pull out the calculator here. And depending on which calculator you have, it might be a little bit different for you. So this is kind of the, one of the newer ones. If I uh, press math and scroll over to probability, this is going to be found under the probability tab. And I want to choose the example or the, the option that looks like NCR. And that stands for N choose R. So when I hit enter, this is kind of convenient here because it gives me the, the uh, boxes to fill in the numbers. And remember that the N is on top and the zero is on bottom when I write it in this vertical form. So I would write 4, or type 4, in the first box and 0 in the second box, and hit enter, and I get 1. So this is going to equal 1. Uh, 4 choose 1, I could do the same thing. I'm just going to press second entry to get back what I just did, and I'm going to change the 0 to a 1, and that's equal to 4. So 4 choose 1 is equal to 4. Uh, for those of you on some older calculators, uh, I, would, I could show you how to do that. Let me switch over to another calculator here. It's very similar to the process, but what you'll notice this time, somewhat annoyingly, I actually have to type in the number for n before choosing that n choose r option. So here's what I mean. If I were just to go to math and then probability and then n choose r, 
you'll see it, it says pulls up the answer from whatever my previous math was, and it sticks that in for the end. So this is like the calculator saying, I need to have a number here before using this function. So if I were to calculate 4, choose 2, I would type 4, then hit math, then go to probability, then go to and choose R, and then type in 2. So this means 4, choose 2. And when I hit enter here, I get 6. So why don't you actually pause the video and find the rest of these binomial coefficients and then resume the video when you're ready to see how it went. All right, and here are all of the coefficients, the binomial coefficients, when I uh, have n choose r. And what I want to know, or what I'm curious is, is if you can spot where we've seen these numbers before. Hopefully you're seeing a connection here. When I take these, these uh, combinations of four things choosing zero of them, or, or five things and I want to choose three of them, all of these values come out as Pascal's triangle numbers. So hopefully you're seeing that this can now help us generate real quickly what those binomial coefficients are for our binomial expansion. Now we don't need to reference a triangle, and we can expand these things to much, much higher degrees if I have this, this formula or this notation to help us out. So this is a good way to check all of these answers that moving forward with the calculator.